everyone, it's Shannon and I'm here in the Wildflower Garden in Discovery Hollow here at Ramsey County's Tamarack Nature Center. This week is Wildflower Week. Well, it's Spring Wildflower Week because the flowers that we see in the spring aren't necessarily the same as the flowers we see in the summer. And some of our spring wildflowers actually are called spring ephemerals because they're not around for very long. So some of the flowers we're looking at this week are kind of here and gone. They might only be blooming for about a week and then they disappear and we don't see them anymore. I do have some blooming here next to me today. I have our bluebells, always a lovely addition to any garden. And if you look very closely back here behind me, I have some violets. I was on a gardening website earlier this week and they listed violets as a garden weed. That was very disappointing to me because I don't think that violets are a weed. So what's the difference between a wildflower and a weed? Well, a weed is basically any plant that is growing where it doesn't belong or where you don't want it. So maybe some people might consider a, wild, a violet a weed. I do not. What I would consider a weed is this plant right next to me here. It's pretty small. It's called burdock. It's that plant that grows in the woods that when your kids and your dogs go running through it, they come back covered in those cockleburrs. It's very annoying. That is a plant I do not want in my garden. Violets are a plant that I make room for in my garden. As well as this other plant over here next to me. This is called mayapple. And if you take a peek under the leaves, you'll see that it blooms underneath. Now, why do we care about these wildflowers? They're very important. They serve a grand purpose for Minnesota's, well, for North America's 4,000 species of native bees. Bees are starting to emerge right now. And this right here is the only source of pollen and nectar for all of these bees to keep them alive this spring. So these wildflowers are super important for protecting our native bee population. And we wanna keep them around and keep them thriving so that we can have more food for our bees and keep them around. So this week is wildflower week and we are gonna be talking about a lot of different wildflowers. But before we go today, I would like to take you down to the other end of the garden so that we can see a really cool and unique wildflower that not many people notice. Here we are at the other end of our wildflower garden and I'm here next to the wild ginger. Wild ginger is one of my favorite ground covers. It's very unique, and when you first look at it, you think it doesn't have a flower, it's just green leaves. That's where you would be wrong. Because if you pull the leaves apart, way down here at the bottom, we have a flower. It flowers right next to the ground. And the unique thing about this flower, besides that it looks really cool, is that it is pollinated by ants and flies. Normally we think of our pollinators as being bees and butterflies, but that's not always the case. So this actually has a smell that I can't really smell, but the ants and the flies, it smells kind of like rotting things. And so they come and pollinate this flower that way. And this stuff loves to spread all through the forest. It's a really great little plant. Come on back to our Facebook page later this week. We are going to take you on a little tour of Tamarack and show you where we can find some other wildflowers here at our nature center. <laughs> 